Good morning, hot dogs. DECA scholarship some more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention to all band and orchestra students. If you are in second semester band or orchestra and want to participate in solo and ensemble, please see Mr. Hunton by tomorrow, Tuesday, to sign up. And DECA Backpack Buddy knows we will highlight the DECA member who created this week's Buddy Bag menu, as well as give a shout out to the community class or organization who filled this week's Buddy Bags. Frankfurt DECA's Community Service Project provides weekend Buddy Bags to Frankfurt K-12 students. Thank you to first year member Miguel Ruiz for creating the Week 12 menu. Shout out to Mrs. J Bishop's Marketing Seniors for filling Week 12 Buddy Bags. 112 Buddy Bags will be sent home tomorrow. We'd like to give a huge congratulations to this week's Hot Dogs of the Week. In 9th grade, Aiden Heron. In 10th grade, Hayden Stingley. In 11th grade, Andrew Flatford. In 12th grade, Brian Valdez. And as for our staff, we would like to recognize Ron Brackett. Keep up the good work, dogs. Congratulations to Angelina Lopez, Caitlin Barkley, Anthony Ferreguerroa, Cameron Queen, Leanne Tyson, and Yuli Ruiz Roman on an awesome performance at All District Honor Band at Western Boone High School Sunday. We are all so proud of you. Now we're going to send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Over the weekend, the Lady Hot Dogs traveled to Southwell on Saturday to play in the Sugar Creek Classic JV Tournament. In the first game, the Lady Hot Dogs were matched up against Western Boone in a nip and tuck game with both teams creating momentum and over 20 free throw shot in the fourth quarter alone. The Lady Hot Dogs were able to create easy buckets using their full court pressure defense to get the win 41-40. They were led in scoring by Sarah Flores and Vanessa Guajardo with 14 and with an Ella McTee and Ashley Vasquez each adding four. In the championship game, the Lady Hot Dogs started out using their pressure defense and were able to jump ahead at halftime 14-6. Using an efficient third quarter offense, the Lady Hot Dogs scored 16 points in the third quarter and were able to take a 30-8 lead going into the fourth. The Hot Dogs were led in scoring by Vanessa Guajardo, 14, Syra Flores with 6, Jada Vessels with 4, and Ella McAtee with 4. Congrats to our Lady Hot Dogs. Also over the weekend, the wrestling team kicked off their season traveling to Daleville. The Dogs faced four teams and went 3-1 through the day, losing to Hamilton Southeastern. The wrestling team is back in action, traveling to Western Boone to face the Stars on Thursday, December 1st. Now, let's send it to Austin with the weather report. Thanks, Nelson. A warmer week this week with it being in the high 40s and low 50s, starting today with a high of 45 and a low of 24. That's all for the weather. Now let's send it back to Nelson. Thanks, Austin. Tomorrow, the girls' swim team travels to Eastern to face off against the Comets. The meet begins at 6. Good luck to them. Also tomorrow, the freshman boys basketball team will have their first game here in case against Rossville. Good luck to them. Dogs, this week is the first official boys basketball game of the season. This is a county rivalry. It's against the Gophers. Let's get a huge crowd there to support the team and welcome in Coach McCullough. You know the drill. Sit in the student section. Be loud. The theme for the game is blue out. The game will be Wednesday and we'll start with the JV at 6. Get there at 6. The small Gophers have a small gym for some odd reason. If you can't make it to the game, it will be live streamed on the ISC Sports Network for free. Last but not least, any girl that wants to play softball this year should go talk to Ms. Davis in room 125. That's all for sports, and I'll send it back to your hosts. If you are interested in financial assistance for college, applications are now open for all Community Foundation of Clayton County scholarships. The foundation has rewarded over 350000 in scholarships to Clayton County residents in 2022. You can find the information in the chatter. For, for lunch today, lines one and two are chicken, smash, chicken smackers with orange sauce. Lines three is chili and salad bar. Lines four is stuffed crust pizza. A happy birthday goes out to Aureli Mendieta and Driven Sheets. Only one day left until Thanksgiving break. Make sure to like and subscribe. We hope to see you tomorrow and have a happy Monday.